OK, EG11. Two particles of mass 7 kilograms and 3 kilograms are connected by a light, inextensible string passing over a smooth, fixed pulley. Find the acceleration of the particles, the tension in the string, and the force exerted on the pulley. Right, so before we go and do the maths, I want to just quickly talk about what these statements or these words are triggering, okay, which allows us to do. Um, to, to model this particular uh, situation. The fact that the string is light means that it's, um, well if we just draw a little sketch first of all to illustrate this. Okay, so we've got um, a particle with mass 7 kilograms, so this is a force diagram so that's going to be 7g and the other one will be of weight 3g and then fighting against those will be a tension now because the pulley is smooth it means there are no um, frictional forces on the string as it moves around the pulley and therefore the tension wherever you are in the string um, remains the same. So wherever you are on that um, string you're going to have equal and opposite tensions working against each other. So the word smooth with the pulley allows us equal tension. Okay, so if an exam the question asks you, um, you know, what, what assumptions have you made or what does that allow? If it's a smooth pulley, it allows equal tensions. Because the string is light, that means that um, the mass of the string is negligible. If it wasn't, then as this starts to fall to earth, and it will fall in this direction, because that's heavier. As more and more string comes this side of the um, pulley, then that ma the mass on that side will increase. So the masses aren't constant, or the weights aren't constant. So the light string allows constant weight in the system. Okay. And then finally, the inextensible part of the string means it doesn't stretch, so you haven't got to worry about Hooke's Law. And that allows you to have a constant acceleration. So no Hooke's Law and um, can assume constant acceleration. Okay, so those three words um, are important in allowing us to model the pulley system as we are going to. All right, uh, you may be asked any of those, you may not, but just for you to be aware. Right, so let's do the mechanics. So we know that when this is released, it's going to fall um, the seven uh, Newton, sorry, the seven g weight is going to cause the left hand side to fall and the right hand side to rise with the same constant acceleration. Um, and what we want to do is to find the acceleration of the particles, the tension in the string, and the force exerted on the string. When we work with pulleys, when the thing is moving, just like in previous examples with Newton's second law, um, we take the direction of motion to be positive. So if I call that A and that B, then working with A using Newton's second law, this direction is positive, so we've got the weight minus the tension equals the mass 
time is acceleration. Then for B, also moving according to Newton's second law, this time the direction of motion is up, so we have T minus 3G equals 3A. That's equation one, that's equation two. So we've got two equations, two unknowns, T and A. The easiest thing to do here is add them because I've got a positive T and a negative T. So if I say one add two, I get 7G minus 3G is 4G equals 10A. So A will be 4G over 10. So I've still got acceleration due to gravity saved as A. So that's going to be 4A divided by 10 equals 3.92. So to two significant figures, because we're using uh, 9.8, that would be 3.9. And the units for acceleration is meters per second squared to SF. So that is the acceleration. The tension we'll get from equation two. So in two, T will be 3A. And remember, we don't use the rounded value um, when we're performing the calculation. So that'll be three lots of 3A plus 3G. So 3.92 times three equals that plus 3a equals 41.16 which to two significant figures is 41 newtons two sig fig and then the force exerted on the pulley. So if you imagine uh, what this is saying here is that we've got the pulley, it's fixed to something, panel behind it, um, and what's happening to the pulley is it's having um, a tension pulling down on both sides. So if you imagine what I want to know is what the equal and opposite force is that's balancing that out. So it's not a reaction force because it's not a contact. Um, but it is a force so um, if I call it R although it's not a reaction force then R minus 2T is going to equal 0 because it's in equilibrium so force on pulley will be R minus 2T equals zero so r equals 2t which going back to my answer over here not get much light on that am i times two 82.32 which is 82 newtons to two sig fig there we go that's that example so it's important that you are able to identify what those assumptions allow.